तालिए बजाते ti 
Oh, Holy Spirit, dwelling in our heart. Oh, Spirit of knowledge, Spirit of wisdom, open in us, empower us with more and more anointing. Anoint us, Holy Spirit. Anoint us, Holy Spirit. Everybody say, Anoint us, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, open your anointing. Open your anointing. Amen. Yes, thank you. Thank you. See, very important point is coming now. The same anointing what Jesus has, that is, Jesus' anointing, the priestly, kingly, and prophetic anointing. All these three anointing is imparted to us even from the baptism. In 1268, Catechism 1268 teaches us the baptized have become living stones to be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. By baptism, they share in the priesthood of Christ in his prophetic and royal mission. They are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. God's own people, that they may declare the wonderful deeds of him who called them out of darkness into his marvelous light. Baptism gives a share in the common priesthood of all believers. So, even as ordinary believers, we have three anointing of Christ. So, how much more as priests and religious? So, these three anointings, <laughs> it is like dormant. It is already there, but we are not activating this. We have to activate this. So, particularly in the religious life, even the religious life itself is a charism. Now, I am a family man. So my charism is to have a family and children and to live a family life. So I need the grace according to that charism. But as you as a priest and religious has another charism. A charism of a religious life. So, how can you be successful in that? It's only when you receive the anointing according to that charism. So, sometimes many religious have difficulties in the vows, the charity, the, or the poverty, the chastity, the obedience. Why we are not able to do it properly because that call need anointing. Once you receive the anointing, the grace according to that call, then it will be very easy. Otherwise, there will be struggle. So in the formation, this is the aspect of the formation. In the formation, Time itself, we have to, we have to pray to open this grace according to the charism. Open the anointing according to the charism. So Jesus, although he was baptized, sorry, he was born through the Holy Spirit, but at the time of his baptism, a new anointing is given to him. For what? To fulfill the mission. So when Jesus began his mission, the baptism, and then 
the spirit of the lord came upon him and he said the spirit of the lord is upon me for what he has anointed me for what to proclaim the good news to release the captives from their captivity to heal the broken hearted some mission so if you don't have a mission then there is another anointing <laughs> so i ask you do you want anointing do you want more anointing yes. what for to sleep in your home for that you don't need anointing <laughs> so anointing is directly proportional to your mission you know i need more anointing every day from 3 o'clock onwards i am in mission i have 4000 whatsapp <laughs> contacts and directly i am in contact with them helping them evangelizing them in three languages i am preaching in english in hindi or in malayalam in german so all these need more anointing holy spirit do you want me to do this give me anointing <laughs> then it comes because i have a mission so mission need anointing and the lord has called us for mission mission is the first task of the church evangelin <laughs> evangelism and jandi rhythm door is mission lumen gentium all the teachings of the church says the first task of the church is mission evangelize so we must recognize our priority the priority is recognizing for anointing i need anointing to do the mission without anointing i will be struggling i will not be successful so in totality now we understood st paul says my brothers i want you to be i want i don't want you to be unaware about the spiritual gifts in another way i want you to be aware about the spiritual gifts so jesus himself is our model and send luke <laughs> that's very interesting yeah 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 the first sentence of acts of apostle the first sentence of acts of apostle send luke says jesus jesus how he worked in his the first in the first book theophilus I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instruction through the holy spirit all Jesus did was through the holy spirit all Jesus did and taught was through the holy spirit Oh. So. Mm. Okay. We have two directions now. We have two policy. We have two things. One is to go a little more in detail about the charisms. another is we should go more detail about the holy spirit himself <laughs> uh, maybe i will do a little bit on that side holy spirit himself see many people know holy spirit is power 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 but holy spirit is a person first of all we must recognize all the symbols of holy spirit has so much things to understand i just explain a uh, two popular symbol in catechism paragraph 696 i think 
The water which is more known as the living water. So the teaching here says the symbolism of water signifies the Holy Spirit's action in baptism. Since after the invocation of the Holy Spirit, it becomes the efficacious sacramental sign of a new birth. Now here it is written another interesting thing. I will just speak about it. That when we were in our mother's womb, the amniotic fluid, that was the original living water. So it teaches here, the water of baptism truly signifies that our birth into the divine life is given to us in Holy Spirit. The sign of new birth, just as the gestation of our first birth took place in the water. Gestation of our first birth. That is when we were in the mother's womb, we were in the water. It is that water which is really a living water which kept our life with life. But so that living water, from that we were born and as soon as we were born, we were taken to the church in the baptism. In the baptism, we were born in the water of the Holy Spirit. That is how we have to understand the symbol of water. So Holy Spirit is a person. But the symbol is water. Similarly fire. Similarly anointing oil. So all these are symbols but Holy Spirit two, two, 200 and 244 in Catechism 244, the eternal origin of the Holy Spirit is revealed in His mission in the time the Spirit is sent to the apostles and to the church, both by the Father, the name of the Son, and by the Son in the person, once he had returned to the Father, the sending of the person of the Spirit. Sending of the person of the Spirit. So Holy Spirit is the third divine person of the Trinity. Once we are so strong, then only we recognize the anointing. So anointing means that person is empowering us. Empowering us. Empowering us. <laughs> I tell you some example. Once I had, I was invited to the Bishop Conference of India, that is the Latin Bishop Conference, to give a talk on evangelization. So I was so happy. And then the secretary wrote me, Mr. Thomas Paul, this is not charismatic retreat. You have to give the talk in advance in return. Oh. That I am not used to. I never has written a talk. And then the secretary said, why not? Will not the Holy Spirit tell you in advance? Yeah, sure. 
Please ask the Holy Spirit. <laughs> what to do? I have to be obedient. He said the talk should reach here at least 15 days in advance. Then I will print it out and distribute to all the bishops. They will come with that. <laughs> and I have to keep talk. I did not understand how it will work. <laughs> all right. So I asked the Holy Spirit. I spent a day in prayer in front of the Eucharistic Lord. I prayed, O oh Lord, this is for the whole Church of India. Give me your idea of the future of evangelization of India. I got everything written and I sent it. The secretary said, well done, I will print and give to the bishops. And now, at the moment, <laughs> the presentation time has come. The archbishop who was presiding was there. He introduced me to the bishop conference and uh, I am at the podium with the paper. And all the bishops also have the paper. Now. I have to simply read it. And now I said, Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, anoint me, help me. Now Holy Spirit is telling me something. Holy Spirit says, You tell the bishops that I have something new to speak. <laughs> so I had to stop. I came to the President, see the Holy Spirit is telling now, he wants to speak something new. What he already spoke is anyway in your hand in the paper. <laughs> this is how the Holy Spirit works. And the chairman my dear bishops, the Holy Spirit want to speak something new. Do you want it? Yes! All, because what already spoke is in the paper they are having. And then I tell you, <laughs> imagine about 150 bishops and the anointing, such a powerful anointing such so many new, new things came up. And at the end, they were all excited of that. And then, some old bishops came to me and said, Thomas, how you got, how you were able to speak like this? All what you said was exactly needed for us. All you said was exactly theologically correct. I said, my Lord, I only pray early in the morning. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. So, anointing is important. So, every day, early in the morning, I pray, oh Lord, Give me anointing for today. Anointing. So it is very simple. God has called us to work with his anointing. That is very simple. Not to work with my own human ideas. God has called every one of us to work for him with his own anointing. Word of God, Word of God is coming. 1 John chapter 2.27. See, this is how God speaks. 1 John chapter 2.27. 1 John chapter 2.27. 1 John chapter 2.27. 1 John chapter 2.27 says, St. John's teaching.
1 John chapter 2 27 says as for you the anointing that you received from him remains in you so that you do not need anyone to teach you but his anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false just as I taught you remain in him I tell you very often the Lord say this to me I will give you more anointing you receive it I will give you more anointing I said yes yes give me give me give me that's all we may see our problem is I don't say problem we are tuned to certain set of prayers yes do that that is according to the uh, constitution of the congregation of the brewery prayer you must do but yet even if you do all that thing in every congregation there is a little time is given for a personal prayer oh this leaflet can be given there is a personal prayer leaflet I have this in English and Malayalam. Please, uh, you can take those who know Malayalam, you can also have one Malayalam. Some, please distribute. This is what in the morning I was doing this personal prayer. So this is a very good way of prayer. In this prayer, there is a point where you are praying for anointing. And I tell you, that is the most important thing. The Holy Spirit's anointing. Every day. Every day in the morning. And that will open up all what is needed for your mission. Your mission. You are called for the mission. You cannot do anything without the anointing. And it is very simple because God has promised my anointing is enough for you. It is a promise of God. When God has called us, the most important thing he gives us is the anointing. Okay. Now, having said this, now we go back to the charisms. We understood that three A, B, C what we written. In the A, we understood the word of knowledge, word of wisdom and discernment of the spirits. Discernment of the spirits. So discernment of the spirit is also an aspect of revelation which is recognized through the Holy Spirit. A discernment, it's a very important gift. So many things we may have an idea to do it, but you have to discern. Is it from the Holy Spirit or from the evil spirit or from human spirit? We may have so many attractive proposals and attractive ideas, but a discernment is important. Discernment. And also, discernment is a very important gift which helps us to recognize the working of the evil spirit. In evangelization, is a fight against the evil spirit. But first of all, we must believe who is this evil spirit? Sometimes we, we are, so many people are so exaggeratedly speaking about the evil spirit. But in Catechism 395 says, evil spirit are creatures.
creatures creatures and who, who is god who is god creator this much difference you must know 395 395 catechism the power of satan is nonetheless not infinite he is only a creature now how is that he is a creature how he will spirit is a creature because angels were god's creation angels were creatures and evil spirit became because of the fallen angels fallen angels we are unnecessarily giving so much importance so you have to take protection prayer eh? otherwise evil spirit will put you in trouble i don't make any protection i never pray for protection i believe who is in me who is in me jesus god the almighty he will protect me who is devil only a creature but yet he is a opposition now imagine a government a new election is going to come a ruling party failed a new party has come the new party is victorious and the old party lost so what happened to the old party the old party is there so we call them opposition party the same way jesus through his passion death and resurrection victoriously won over the evil do you believe this that's what we have to believe but the party is there the evil party is there but they have no power they keep on running around us and frighten us but we must boldly resist in faith in faith i belong to the ruling party you go away so we don't have to so much be afraid about the devil but at the same time discernment of spirit now i tell you an example <laughs> it's a very it is an example i often say those who have heard me one day i was in the church in mumbai a person came a gentleman tip top dressed he came and sat near to me suddenly i get a a sign about the evil spirit around me so that is another higher gift it is a higher gift of discernment that the holy spirit will give you a sign in your body or some ways whenever a evil spirit is around you so these are higher gift particularly for all the priests and religious you may have this you have to dedicatedly ask oh lord give me show me give me the gift of discernment of the spirits since i am in a mission when i am doing you have to show me what are the type of evil spirits around so i have already got a knowledge about an evil spirit now first i should ask what should i do now holy spirit oh holy spirit what should i do so holy spirit told me diffuse that spirit so through the prayer i can pray in the name of jesus i diffuse that spirit its action is frozen i bind that spirit now 
I asked the Holy Spirit, but what is it? Where is it? And the Holy Spirit says, that is in this man sitting near to you. <laughs> this man sitting near to you is, he, he is having inside his trouser, there is a string on which there is a copper plate tied up. I am seeing this much in vision. The Lord is showing me in vision a copper plate, what is called tabij or something, that is tied up on his waist, that is carrying an evil spirit. So first thing I diffused it. Now we have to understand, we have to handle this very lovingly and prudently. We have to pray for this person. It is Holy Spirit who brought this person to me to be delivered from this problem. That is how we have to deal. And we have to be very loving to him. We should not be angry. If we are angry, that means we are in party with the evil spirit. <laughs> Anger is evil. We have to be very careful not to be angry with the evil spirit or the one who has an evil spirit. Then that both evil will work together and the project will be failure. So we have to be careful. So I was loving this person. I thank God and I thank. Then I said, oh Lord, now what should I do? Don't worry. Now you, you finish the Holy Mass. He will not go away. You have to help him to remove that from his waist. How can I tell him this? So I told the Lord, he must first ask me something. Yes, he will ask you. Now the mass is over. All the people have gone. But he has not gone. I just looked through the corner. He is still there. But he is looking at me. But I am not looking. I am just telling Lord, he must first speak to me. Then only it is a sign for me. Then I sat. From the kneeling, I sat. Now he said, are you Brother Thomas Paul? Yes. Oh, Brother Thomas Paul, I want to die. I want to commit suicide. I don't want to leave. Mm -hmm. I said, my dear, you will not die. The Lord is in you. God is in you. And you know, the Lord wants to help you. That is why the Lord brought you here. You are... Then again he started telling, No, I will die. I want to die. Yes. You know, you are saying this. I am going to reveal you something. You should not be shocked. You should not run away from here now. You are tying a evil thing on your waist which is not from God. Hey, how do you know this? Yeah. That is the Holy Spirit. Nobody knows this. The man who gave me, I paid 5,000 rupees for this. He said, you should not tell to anybody. Yes, nobody told me. The Holy Spirit want to protect you. The Holy Spirit want to save you. That is why now he realizes it because nobody knows this thing. So I lovingly said, my dear, you have God in you. Why you went for all these things? So he started telling all his story and all. Now I prayed for you. Its power is removed, but the Lord wants it must be removed. I will remove it. Oh, no, no, no. If it is removed, something happened to me. Nothing will happen. God is greater than all the 
all evil is only creature you come with me to the sacristy i took him to the sacristy i removed his trouser with a knife with a scissors i cut that i threw it away and then i prayed for him and i told him you go for a confession and you will be free totally so this is the way we can help the people gift of discernment of the spirits i was attending a retreat in one of the retreat center suddenly i saw a evil spirits action around me it was the symbol of a octopus octopus and i got the i got the sign in my body then i am cautious yes holy spirit what's happening yes diffuse that spirit yes i prayed but now where is the spirit <laughs> you will be amazed <laughs> i don't want to scandalize anybody i don't want i am not revealing the identity i saw in the vision an arrow an arrow an arrow is moving and at one place the arrow stopped then the lord say now open your eyes now my eyes straight away fallen into the leg of the preacher the preacher was a religious sister on her leg on her foot on her finger there was a copper ring that copper ring was a carrier of an evil in the retreat center in the preacher so this is what saint paul says our fight is not with the flesh and blood but with the spirits in the heavenly realms the spirit also work in the heavenly realms they are the very small type of spirits now i ask the lord what should i do now you pray for that that will not disturb her already it is diffused but i want you to talk to her oh my god what should i talk to her you send a message to her that i want to have a i want to have a i want to have a i want to have a, a appointment for a discussion and she gave me time and we sat together and i said see i told her this is what happened i am sorry the holy spirit want to tell you that you don't need that ring whatever it is you have god himself is in you you don't need any protection or anything with any material thing she was shocked oh my god what a fault i have done i always ask the lord before i do something but this somebody brought and gave me this ring and said this is good for you to put it you will not get some sickness what is that sickness called that will not a vaadam aama vaadam vaadam undavilla nu i immediately began to wear it without asking the lord and she thanked god and matter finish so i am telling this how this way the holy spirit can help us so holy spirit will reveal to us in every family in people in difficult situations the working of the evil spirit and we have to pray for helping them deliver them sometimes it is like this once a french woman came to me and say thomas paul please pray for me 
प्लीज पे फॉर डिलीवरेंस आई एम प्रोसेस वाई डेबल आई सेट वॉट यू फील वट यू वाई डू यू थिंक दैट यू प्रोसेस बाई डेबल एंड ही शी स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग समथिंग बट एनी वे आई सेट आई प्रे फॉर यू आई प्रे फॉर यू फर्स्ट लेट मी प्रे आस्क वॉट डेबल इज इन यू and the lord said she is having terrible hatred towards her mother in law mother in law i said ah yes yes, yes she is so evil da, 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 da. i said she is so evil but god is love so what is evil the opposite of love god is love so what is evil the hatred so when you hate your mother in law do you love your husband yeah he is a nice person he is a wonderful boy yes he is a wonderful man but from whom he was born from your mother in law so you should thank god for such a husband and you should love your mother in law Oh, oh, oh now i pray for you oh holy spirit fill me with your love fill me with your love pray like that fill me with your love and now you love your mother in law you forgive her you forgive her spirit she become free deliverance take place In another situation, a woman come to me and say, "Thomas Paul, uh, I went to several exorcists or deliverance, but the evil spirit go away from me. But again, come back. Now, Holy Spirit told me to come to you. Oh my God! I said I don't have a gift of deliverance. I am an ordinary man, but Holy Spirit told me to come to you. Okay, then let us pray." come to the chapel we will pray and the holy spirit told the evil spirit go come again because your soul is empty you must have the word of god in your soul you must fill your soul with the word of god otherwise evil spirit goes away but when your soul is empty it comes in so i began to it started like this i said i want to test you now how the evil spirit is behaving so i put on a tape recorder with the word of god as soon as the tape recorder started play she started screaming hey! like this you know when i put off the tape recorder of the word of god she is quiet now i said you read the gospel when i gave her the gospel to read hey! she started behaving like this see now you understand the word of god the evil is hating the word of god so now i am praying you slowly slowly take one by one word of god i say you a word that you read so i spoke what jesus says word in the beginning was the word one by one i started reciting and she started eating that word slowly she started filling with that slowly slowly and that light of the word delivered her from the evil so she remained there whole day step by step reading one by one the word of god then i told her you must more and more read the word of god keep it in your heart and then only you will be free and then i met her after 6 months 
in another city hey thomas paul hello you know now i am using a walkie talkie with the word of god i am always listening the word of god i am free <laughs> hallelujah these are some of the examples i say maybe this will be useful for you in the mission in the mission so many types of evil spirits will be working i remember in some time in north india in indore area a convention going on a man was brought inside his muscles a copper plate was inserted and stitched and sealed <laughs> but the holy spirit has shown me that inside the muscle there is a copper plate inserted and up filled up imagine such things happening but thank god such people have been brought to us the holy spirit has revealed that to us and the holy spirit helped us to diffuse that evil spirits and delivered the pure souls so now let us pray hallelujah hallelujah so pray for this gift gift of discernment of the spirit i tell you every priest has this gifts every religious has this gift for novices and all these thing you should not do this you should lead them to the cds okay so we need a spiritual maturity to do this spiritual maturity suppose for juniors when such things happens you should take to a senior or to a priest and the priest the lord will guide them so let us pray particularly in the mission in the villages so many such things will be there oh holy spirit let us pray now hallelujah 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 lord open the gift of discernment of the spirit open the gift of discernment of the spirit open the gift of discernment of the spirit shall bel 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 shall hal bel hal bel hal bel shall hal bel hal bel hal bel shall bel hal bel hal bel now i want to explain little more about the vision vision the the name of that gift is word of knowledge word of knowledge and word of wisdom already when you operated the charisms already some of you happen to see the visions now very important point about the vision is visions must be interpreted that interpretation of the vision is called the word of wisdom for that you must pray for the wisdom of god wisdom of god you must pray for the wisdom of god and the wisdom of god the wisdom of god every day we must pray and when you see a vision never interpret with your human wisdom human wisdom you must ask again to holy spirit holy spirit what is the interpretation and there are some people says these are the symbols which has this meaning but in my opinion holy spirit will tell you exactly at that time what is the meaning of that symbol there was an example when you see when you prayed for a person you saw a snake snake now what is the meaning 
What should be the meaning now? What is your answer? What is the meaning of that symbol of snake? Anybody say? Eh? Eh? The answer is, we must ask the Holy Spirit. Don't use any preconceived idea. There are several people say, this can be evil, this can be that, this can be this. Holy Spirit give exact meaning at that moment. Sometimes, once it happened, a woman, she had a, she said during a healing prayer, I came for the healing prayer, but I am having suffocation. My sickness is increased. What type of healing prayer you are doing? Oh my God. <laughs> so I said, wait, come, let us pray. Now, when I was praying, I saw a snake. Now I should ask Holy Spirit, what is the meaning of the snake? for this incident. Then Holy Spirit said, she saw a snake and got frightened. That is the reason for her asthma. So I asked her, have you seen a snake and frightened? Oh no. Think about it. Then the Holy Spirit told me, it is 25 years back. I asked her, what is your age? 35. When you were 10 years old, think about it. When you were 10 years old, that is 25 years back, ah, yes, 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 yes. I was coming uh, from my school with my cousin sister, a snake bite her, and I was running, I was running. Ha, 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 ha. She started producing exactly that. At that time I prayed, heal her now. Lord, heal her now. Healed. So that original situation with high, terrible fear and panic, this 10-year-old child was running. Her sister or her cousin sister 